to accept this casket containing the Burgess ticket with our fervent hope that it will serve to remind you through a long and happy life of this historic occasion. And Sutherland Highlanders, and I now ask you to accept this scroll to be treasured among the trophies of the regiment. Mr. Provost, ladies and gentlemen. There is no town with a name in Scottish history nobler than Stirling. From the days of Alexander I to those of James VI, Edinburgh alone was your equal, and this strong fortress was intimately associated with the fortunes of the Royal House of Scotland. It is therefore with special pride and pleasure that I become like the king and queen before me, a freeman of your ancient borough. It is not only for myself that I accept this distinction, but for the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders, whose colonel-in-chief I have the honour to be. It is indeed an honour, because, as the provost said, the regiment has a tradition of service of which all its members from its colonel-in-chief to its newest recruit, are justly proud. I could speak of many campaigns in which the Argyles have proved the quality of their training, their discipline, and the human material of which they are made. I now hand to Lieutenant General Macmillan the scroll conferring the freedom of this borough on the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders and ask him to keep it in safe custody on behalf of the regiment. Your Royal Highness, Thomas McMichael, Magistrates and councillors of the Royal Borough of Stirling. On behalf of the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders, of which regiment I have the honour to be Colonel, I thank you uh, for this freedom which you have conferred upon us today. I, know I should say too that uh, when I go back to Palestine, I shall tell the 1st Battalion of this moving centre.
Borough of Stirling may be spared to serve loyally and faithfully for many years our Royal Colonel-in-Chief. 